Oh, and this suit. I mean, this suit can go. Oh, look, look at it. Look at the lapels, green mouldy. <laughs> That's velvet. This is my teddy boy outfit. <laughs> You're not thinking of wearing it again? Oh, yeah, they were the good days, Mildred. Oh, yeah, there was me, Slasher, Cycle Chain, Sid. <laughs> yeah, we all had nicknames. Yes, I remember yours, George. Bathwater. <laughs> Why did they call you that? I don't wish to discuss it. Oh, come on, George. Why bathwater? Because I used to run away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't like fighting. Some of those old ladies could get very vicious. Oh, typical. Oh, and these. You can sling these, George. I mean, look at them. Three-inch rubber crepe. Well, I might wear them again. If you cough, you'll bounce right up to the ceiling. <laughs> sling them. Oh, it's dark spring cleaning in the middle of winter. I started it in spring. I'm still at it. <laughs> now, come on, help me down with this case. Come oh, on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. My back isn't what it used to be. Your front isn't what it used to be either. <laughs> oh, sure. I mean, what have you got in that thing? Well, memories. <laughs> treasures which I've accumulated over my lifetime. Well, don't bother to open it. We'll just sling the lot. Oh, yeah, hang on. Some of this could be very valuable. Valuable? Oh, yes. Oh, what am I bid for this Dick Barton annual? <laughs> I mean, do I hear a million guineas? Sold to the Arab gentleman. <laughs> oh, really? This is absolute nonsense, George. Pardon? Oh, I'm all Oh, I said half warm in there. I was wearing this when I first met you. Yes, I know. And then you took it off. <laughs> and you've left it off ever since. Oh, well. Right. Now, what's this for? Yeah, well, hang on, hang on. What's this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a club I used to belong to. Yeah? Yeah. Membership card, secret code book, yeah. The uh, Oval Teenies? <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a good club, that was, yeah. We are the Oval Teenies, happy girls and boys. <laughs> I got expelled in the end for drinking Born Vita. Oh. <laughs> you have led a rich, full life, haven't you, George? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, these could be worth a few bob. What? Yeah. Jean Krupa. Yeah, I used to like her. <laughs> Big Bill Campbell, his Rocky Mountain rhythms. The Stargazers are on the air. <laughs> I think I'll take these down and play them. Uh, 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 you are going downstairs, you can take the dog for a walk. Yeah, all right. First. Uh, oh. <laughs> right. Ugh. Rubbish. Rubbish? Rubbish? My dearest Dorothy. <laughs> Darling Dorothy? D Dorothy? <laughs> and then fasten strut 1A into slot 2B. 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 Or not to be. Yeah, well. <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't see the fit. And it doesn't look like the Queen Mary. Oh, no. It doesn't, does it? You sure you haven't muddled up the box lids? I might have done. Oh, well, we'll get your mother to sort it out. Why has she gone to the doctors? Is she ill? No, no, no. No, she's not ill. Is she going to have a baby? Where did you, where did you get that idea from? I heard you having a row last night. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. Um, how would you like little brother or sister? I'd rather have a hamster. <laughs> yes. But if she is having a baby and we have to have bunk beds, can I have the top one? We'll see. Geoffrey! Ah, that's your mother. You stay here. I want to have a little chat with her. Um, finish off the Queen Mary. <laughs> well, what did he say? Good morning, Mrs. Formal. Sorry to keep you waiting. A lot of flu about. Do sit down. Warm for the time of year. Um, I've had the result of your test. You're not pregnant. You're not? Oh. <laughs> I knew you'd be upset. Oh, I am. I am, for your sake. <laughs> then why are you smiling? Well, to cheer you up. <laughs> Sit down, darling. Huh. Oh, I was sort of looking forward to the patter of tiny feet. Well, I might buy Tristram a hamster. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, but look at it this way. I mean, it would have affected our standard of living. Uh, no foreign holiday next year. We could have put him in kennels. Uh, no, 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 I am sorry. But, um, well, let's be fair. It's not as if we were trying for a child. It would have been the result of, well, one of us forgetting to take the pill. Well, it's not all my fault. It takes two to tango. Well, so long as it doesn't happen again. What? 
Never? No, not that. I mean, this. This business. <laughs> Believe me, I'm as disappointed as you are. <laughs> also means I can trade the car in. Ooh. <laughs> ah, Mildred, good morning. Oh, pardon? Uh, sorry, sorry, Mrs. Roper. Uh, do come in. Oh, thank you. Uh, is Anne doing anything? Absolutely nothing. Do go through. <laughs> It's, uh, it's Mrs. Roper. Uh, do sit down. Oh, thank you. Hello, Mildred. Hello, Anne. Now, how about a little celebration drink, hmm? What are you celebrating? Well, uh, uh the, the fact that you've come round here. Oh, hmm. no. No, no, not for me, thank you. I've, I've just come to have a little chat with Anne. Ah, well, I think I'll just, um, stroll down to the pub then. Yes, have your celebration drink there. Quite. <laughs> <laughs> he seems very cheerful. Yes. It's more than you are. Yeah, well, I've... I've had a bit of a shock. Oh? Yeah, I, I found these letters, all in George's handwriting. Oh, I know I shouldn't bother you about it, but, you know, you're the only friend I've got. Dorothy? Mm. Who's Dorothy? I don't know, but he's been writing letters to her for years. And they're very intimate. Yes, yes. my word, they are. Well... It's probably an old girlfriend, Mildred. Well, the last letter he wrote was four months ago. Was it? Yeah, look. Oh, yes. Well, it couldn't have been posted, otherwise you wouldn't have found them. Well, it's probably just a first draft. I mean, they're full of mistakes. I mean, look, your eyes are like limpid poles. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got to face it, Anne. These, these are love letters. My husband is, is writing to another woman. <laughs> Ah, thank you. So, it's all a false alarm then, eh? Yes, thank heavens. <laughs> Not for the first time either. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. It's women, you see. You can't rely on them. That's why I had the op last year. The op? Oh, you mean, um, vasectomy? <sighs> yes. You wear badges? I do. And a tie. Things to advertise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you see there? I reckon that's some burning fancy, do you? <laughs> Where exactly did you have it done? Well, the usual place. St Barnaby's. Oh. Uh, uh, half a bit, please, Sybil. Oh, afternoon. Uh, morning. Uh, go on, what were you saying? I know several chaps have had it done. Graham, hmm? Nick, and Cyril. Cyril? <laughs> we must have been wrong about him. Obviously. In my own case, my vasectomy was absolutely oh, necessary. Yeah. Have you had that done to you? <laughs> what? Yes. It was absolutely necessary. You can't tell. Not from your voice. <laughs> Mr. Roper, do you mind having a private conversation? It's all right. You rely on me. It won't go any further. <laughs> the people over the road have got a tomcat who's had that done. <laughs> it's not the same. Well, it certainly is and doesn't want to know these days. <laughs> it's a completely different operation. Will you have another? I didn't think you could have it done more than once. <laughs> another drink. Well, oh, yeah, tar. I'll have half a bit of Tom. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do for the best. I mean, should I put them back? Pretend I've never found them. Could you do that? No, I could not. <laughs> so you'll, uh, you're going to tackle him? Like a rugby forward. <laughs> oh, thanks for lending me your ear. Pleasure, Mildred. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Am I going to have a baby brother? Uh, not this time, no. Will I ever have one? Very likely. Only don't tell Daddy. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. oh, it's a bit nippy out there. Still, I gave her a good walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah I met what's staying from next door in the pub. Ooh, in the park, in the park, park. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. Now then, I've been looking forward to playing these. Oh, which one shall we have? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you'll like this one, Mildred. <laughs> Jealousy was over my jealousy. Your heart was broken, and angry words were spoken. George, I am not in the mood. Oh, that makes a change. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you, George. Come and sit down. Sit. <laughs> now, George, have you got anything to tell me? Freely, without any prompting from me. 
Is it anything to do with me using your nighty to clean my motorbike? <laughs> no, it is not. It is much more personal. Happy anniversary, Mildred. Oh, it's not our anniversary, George. <clears throat> you have been doing something behind my back, secretly, ever since we were married. Oh, that. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's not uncommon, Mildred. I mean, lots of men... <clears throat> lots of men use their wife's toothbrush. <clears throat> talking about these. Oh. Darling, Dorothy, where, 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 where'd you find these? In that suitcase. I, oh, my God, yes. <clears throat> is that, or is that not your handwriting? Well, it, it, it could be a very clever four, 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 four. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, it is mine. <clears throat> All right, George. Who is she? Who is this Dorothy? Well, I, I'd rather not say. Do I know her? No. Uh, well, yes, in a sort of way. Is it that one in the pet shop with a funny eye? Certainly not. Ah, then it's the barmaid in the British Legion. The one with the wig and the twitch. You haven't got a very high opinion of me, have you? No, I haven't, George. I dream about your eyes, your ruby red lips, your silken hair. There's just an expression, Mildred. I mean, there was never anything physical between us. That I can believe. <laughs> I worship the ground you walk on. Well, you've never said that to me. All right, I'll say it to you. I worship the ground she walks on. George! And I refuse to discuss the matter any further. <laughs> it's not right. You can't keep your hands off my personal things, can you? <laughs> they were private letters. I thought you didn't want to talk about it. I don't. Private letters. <laughs> That's right, George. Attack is the best form of defence. I'm not going to attack you. No, I didn't think you were. <laughs> Look, George, I want to talk about our marriage. Oh, put your pickles away! <laughs> now, it's not always been perfect, George. I've had to take the rough with the... <coughs> rough? And at times it has been pretty boring. And those were the eye spots. Well, calm down, Mildred. Yes, all right, George. What I wanted to say is, it's not too late. For what? <laughs> to save our marriage. I mean, I've been through quite a lot over the years, George. I mean, for a long time, I thought all marriages were miserable. Oh, they are, Mildred, yeah, very miserable. <laughs> Apart from ours, that is, but I mean... Uh... Look, just look on those letters, George, as the last straw. What, and you as a camel? Yeah. <laughs> if you like. And ask yourself, do we need help? Do we need help? I don't know. Well, ask me. Do we need help? Yes, we do! <laughs> um... And don't forget to take your satchel. He wants to take this to school to show his teacher. Ah, oh, yes, yes, fine, uh, very good. Um, and um, I've been thinking for the past um, day or so about this little um, false alarm. <clears throat> All right, I do solemnly swear to be more careful in future, unless I forget. <laughs> um, what, uh, what I have in mind will make that unnecessary, if you go along with it, that is. Oh, Geoffrey, I've always wanted another uh, one. Uh, no, no, no. I, I've kept all Tristram's baby clothes. Uh, no, that's... No, no, no. Anne, sit down. <clears throat> um, whilst I would quite like to have another child, I mean, people are starving in India. <laughs> well, I'd have it in England. <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking was that, well, the world is overpopulated and, um, well, they are looking to us for an example. Why us? Why not the people next door or across the street? So I've decided that the best thing is for me to, uh, to, um... To what? Have a vasectomy. <laughs> You've broken a wing off the Queen Mary. You're still here. Do come in. Oh. It's very kind of you, Mrs. Eastham, to see us at such short notice. Oh, that's quite all right. <laughs> jo George! <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. What can a marriage guide and counsel do that we can't do for ourselves? Well, Mr. Roper, we can talk. Talk? She never stops talking. <laughs> do sit down. Oh, thank you. 
Now, let me see if I've got all this right. You're George and Mildred Roper. Yeah, I'm George, she's Mildred. <laughs> Thank you. And you've been married, let me see, uh, 24 years? Uh, to each other, yes. <laughs> Quite. And you seem to be having some problems. Would you like to tell me about them? No. Yes. <laughs> I assure you, Mr. Roper, everything you say will be in complete confidence. Look, Mrs. I've got nothing against you personally. I mean, you're probably a very good marriage guy. Got badges for it and that, but... Uh... <laughs> the basic problem is, I want things that he doesn't want. Such as? Come in here. I didn't want to come here. <laughs> Mr. Roper, just for a minute, try putting yourself in your wife's place. What? Oh, yeah, all right then. <laughs> oh, sit <down. laughs> You see, she feels that your marriage needs help. When did you first think that things were starting to go wrong? When we were walking down the aisle. <laughs> he stood on my train and ripped it right off. Oh, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> That's when the old congregation saw what was borrowed and what was blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was just an accident, Mildred. Well, perhaps we should concentrate on the things that you have in common. Well, you must have some things in common. <laughs> Uh, Very tricky. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> I, We both don't like tapioca pudding. I do, George. Well, apart from her, that is. <laughs> <laughs> we spend a lot of time talking about the telly. Ah. She wants it off and I want it on. I like it. See? Yes, you certainly do. He's stuck in front of it from the test car to that daft poem at the end. If the world blew up, he wouldn't notice until it came on the 10 o'clock news. Oh, I'm not that man. <laughs> I have to wear my oven gloves to switch it off. I see. Well, you do seem to be a little incompatible. Yeah, I am a bit. It's this chair. It's a bit hard, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, uh, shall we make ourselves more comfortable? <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, thank you. Well, do sit down. Thank you. And I won't be a moment. George, you're just not trying. I mean, if you think that you... What are you doing? I'm just having a look. Oh, I bet they've got some interesting cases in a place like this. <laughs> Those are confidential. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, <laughs> George. Oh, dear. The things some people get up to must be double-jointed. Oh. <laughs> Just put them away. Go on. Oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Here we are. Uh -huh. Mrs Roper, those files are confidential. Oh, well, well I, I mean... I knew I should have locked them away, but... Well... <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> I mean, shall we sit down? Yes, I mean, but uh, milk. I mean, I could, yes, please. But I mean, Sugar. I was, uh, Yes, but I mean, I would no. never. Have... Where were we? We were talking about what we had in common. Oh, oh yes. Did you think of anything? No. Nope. Oh well. <laughs> well, how about the physical side of your relationship? Ah, is that satisfactory? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, will you start or shall I? That side of our marriage is very, very private. It certainly is. Even I don't know about it sometimes. <laughs> I do my duty. Oh, Mr Roper, you shouldn't look on it as a duty. <laughs> oh, don't tell him that. Now, it's the only edge I've got. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, you know, if he was a bit romantic sometimes. If he took me out. Oh, I took you to the wrestling match at the town hall. Yeah, and he reminded me of what I was missing. <laughs> you see... He doesn't like dancing. He never takes me out to dancing. He doesn't like it. Yes, I do. I watch Terry Wogan every Saturday. <laughs> no, I found he's got another woman. Oh, blimey. <laughs> really? Yes. Dorothy. These are her letters. They're private letters. Oh, Mr Roper, this will be completely confidential. Yeah, like Mr and Mrs Higgins on the trampoline. Very confidential. <laughs> I'm not having it, Mildred. But surely a full and frank discussion can only help. Very likely. You two carry on. I'm going home. George! <laughs> Should I make a further appointment for you? Ah. Well, he's fast asleep. Dropped off just as the secret five were trapped in the smuggler's cave. I can hardly wait till tomorrow to find out what happens. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. There won't be another one for you to read to. Now, look, Anne, are we going to have an argument about this? Not at all. Good. As a matter of fact, I've made an appointment for you at St Barnaby's. Two o'clock tomorrow. What? <laughs> Apparently, there's no pain, just a local anaesthetic and snip-snip. 
<laughs> snip, snip. There may be three. Snip, snip, snip. Don't do that, Anne. <laughs> then they sew you up. Did they sew me up? Well, they can't do it with sellotape, Geoffrey. <laughs> Two o'clock tomorrow. Ah, uh, well, well, um, uh, I haven't, um, <coughs> I haven't actually made a, a final um, a decision on this. Uh, I mean, it, it is a drastic step to, uh, to, to take. Not at all. Snip, snip. Uh, yes, but, um, um, you see, these books, they cost money and, and they have only been read to one child and, and two o'clock tomorrow is a bit sudden. So you think you should postpone it for a month or so? Well, if you say so, uh, yes, um, or perhaps even longer. A year. Oh, Geoffrey. Let's have an early night and discuss it. Oh, good idea. Mm. <laughs> well, I saw it sort of every day and eventually fell in love. Eventually we got married and I must go on it's my wedding day. Well, that seems like yesterday. And I wish it was tomorrow because I'd cancel it. But <laughs> she was marvellous. On the wedding day, she was, she was married in white, actually. She'd just finished her shift to the flour mill. <laughs> in actual fact, we had a marvellous wedding. They, Rubbish. I don't know what they were laughing at. Do you know what they were laughing at? Neither do I. <laughs> Mildred, you haven't said a word to me since we come back from the wash name. Aren't you ever going to say anything to me again? Shut up. <laughs> That's more like it. I've been thinking, uh, perhaps I should tell you about Dorothy. I like to. I I've never told anybody else how I feel about her. Except her. Oh, well, that's it. You see, I, I, I didn't send them. I sort of, well, I admired her from a distance, so to speak. Who is she, George? Uh, well, I, I feel a bit foolish. I wrote them to Dorothy Lamour. Dorothy? <laughs> <laughs> what, the, the yeah, Dorothy Lamour, you know, Bob Hope, Bing Crosby. Well, they were fan letters. Oh, why didn't you tell me, George? Because I thought you'd laugh at me. Oh, fancy thinking that I'd... <laughs> George, shall we? Love. <laughs> Dorothy Lamour? 